I think that decision making is a part of the issue of assertiveness. It's always think about assertiveness or how assertiveness you can be with other people. But you have to be assertive with yourself and make personal decisions. Where will you be in your business and your life in 36 months? Not because you hope, because you decide. Everyone in this room knows how to create. You're not a manager of your life, you're a creator of your life or you wouldn't be in this room. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something, don't you? Who has done something in your life that once seemed difficult or impossible and now it's part of your life? How did you do it? You created it three ways. Number one, you decided there's something you wanted so bad that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that now it's in your life. It was once a dream, it was once a goal, and now it's in your life. It may have seemed impossible at one time, so how did you do it? You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy, floats. You envision something, you got clear about it, and then you started thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. Said, this is what's next for me now. Decision making is the power. Now, there's three decisions you're making every moment of your life and of your business. But the first decision you're making every moment of your life that affects your life and business is what are you going to focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. Because some people focus on what they can't control every day. Can you predict, if you're focusing every day on what you can't control, how you're going to feel about your life or your business? You're going to be overwhelmed, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be frustrated. When you have a desire to do something, the first thing you ought to recognize is most of the desires come from animalistic traits. So the first thing you should do is think as to why you should not do it. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and you hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. Decision-making is the force that shapes destiny, personal, corporate, business destiny. Our decisions are good or bad determined by how we made them, not what the consequences were. How many of you can think of decisions that you made years ago, one or two decisions, five, 10, 15 years ago, that that decision, you may not have realized it at the time, but that decision was one of the most important decisions of your life. If you'd made a different decision there, you'd gone a different direction, your life would be completely different today. Some people make a decision and then they focus on the decision about how it didn't work out versus what they learned. Most people don't have the guts to make the tough decisions because they want to make the right decision, so they make no decision. And that's a decision.